Juve festivities start up in the pre-dawn hours, but there are probably already people partying in the street. The rich culture, the music, the costumes, the incredible food. There's no time. There's no need for violence. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang. It was the night before carnival and all through the house, they were getting ready to party. Every year, all Caribbean people from all over the world, they come to New York City to celebrate. You know, it's a big thing for Brooklyn. This photographer will be there documenting the pageantry alongside a million other spectators. He is hoping crime does not rain on the parade. We pray for the best. Positive energy, no violence. Everybody come out, celebrate, have a good time. Juve kicks off during the overnight hours, followed by the actual West Indian Day Parade Labor Day morning. For two dazzling miles along Eastern Parkway, there will be a heavy artillery of sequins, feathers, and fantastic costumes. It's beautiful. That's our culture. We just love to have a good time. And we don't want no violence. No violence. Police are promising extra security from drones in the sky to metal detectors on the ground. This celebrator says it'll be a game day decision whether she goes in person. This is not, has nothing to do with violence. It's all about love. All the Caribbean islands come together. Want to, but afraid to. Want to, but afraid to. Yes. So where does that leave you? Hopeful that people will realize that they, you can come and celebrate without violence. Erica Charles has the luxury of watching from her apartment, which sits right on the parade route. For almost 90 years, the West Indian Day Parade has closed out summer. The hope this year is that shootings and stabbings will not have the final say. In Brooklyn, Lucy Yang, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. The festive parade kicks off at 11 a.m. tomorrow, and you can watch it live on ABC 7NY. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate is a Grand Marshal.